YouTube. This is Clarissa with the Everyday Mom. Uh, today I have a Joann's haul for you, and I am super, super excited about this because my one of my favorite holidays is coming up, and that's Halloween. But first off, I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the crafty stuff that I got first, like the, my stickers and washi tape. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this one here. I got this washi tape. It's called Tape Works, and if you can see the design on here, it has like the princesses with like flowers and like the fairies are right there and an apple for Snow White. Um, so here's the washi tape. This is what it looks like. I, when I saw this at Joanne's, I told my husband, I was like, I have to have it. It is princesses and I have to have it. And I'm surprised that I found, I found it and I am so happy. Sorry, I'm opening it. But uh, I'm s super excited. And I hardly ever go to Joanne's. And then if I do, it's like a treat for me. And I get real excited because I love the stuff that they have there. I'm trying to open this up so you can see. On here, it only has, um, so far, is Belle, Aurora. And right here, you can tell because it has the rose. Hopefully, you can tell. I don't know. No, okay. Hopefully, you can tell right here. Bell, and then it has the fairies, and then it has Aurora, and then it has an apple, and then Snow White, and then it's got this shoe here for Cinderella, and then it starts off back with Belle. So yeah, so I absolutely love this. I am so glad that I found it. So I love this, and Joanna, Joanne's actually had a big selection or a variety of washi tape. So I was glad that I found it. So I found this one. And I also found this one. It's another Tape Works one. And here are some princesses there. There's Cinderella, Belle, Jasmine, Aurora, Snow White, Ariel, and Tiana. And I think these each were $3.99. Both of them were $3.99. Um, let me see. Oh. I don't know if y'all noticed this, but I am using my new tripod, and I'm getting a little used to it, so just bear with me, but so far I, I really am enjoying it, so I'm sorry if I was out of focus there for a second when, I'm, when I was peeling up the tape, but I just wanted to show you, if you can see, there's Cinderella. I guess the piece got cut off, or it wasn't cut right when it was being made. So then there's Belle. Very beautiful Belle. Then there's Jasmine, Aurora, Snow White, Ariel, Tiana. Oh, and Rapunzel's on here too. So it has all the princesses and then it starts up again with Cinderella and then Belle. So I think that is really neat. I think I might be doing a princess spread now, now that I have these washi tapes. So, I am super excited. I'm sorry if I'm out of focus. Let me just put this tape back together. Okay. So, anyway. So, that is the beautiful Princess Washi Tape. And I am so in love with it. So, so in love with them. Both of them. So, that's those. I think I'm going to be doing a princess theme in my planner for this coming week. For this week. I haven't yet done the video. So, this is going to be up before the Plan With Me video. And I know I was supposed to put up a mermaid video, but since I was so busy, I didn't get a chance to even decorate my planner or film the video, but I am going to decorate it, and I am still going to put up the video, because, I don't know, it, it's going to be good. I already have the idea for it, and it's going to be amazing. So, it's still going to go up. I know it's late, but it's still going to go up. I just want to say that. So, moving on, okay, so I got two other washi tapes, and I'm going to go ahead and show both of them. Ta-da, I have this black and white chevron. I'm sure I might have a black and white chevron, but I really like this Tapeworks brand, so I'm, I'm glad I got this one. So, I got this one, and it's really pretty, and I got it especially for Halloween, because, you know, I'm getting started on or gathering supplies for my Halloween spreads in my planner. 
because I have a ton of ideas and I don't even think there's enough weeks in October for me to do them. But yeah, so I'm excited. This one here is some skulls and I think that is freaking cool. And I think, yeah, it's on gray washi tape. It's gray, but I don't care because I think I have an idea with this. I want to do the spread. Maybe I'll do it sometime in September. Who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, who cares? Because I think this is going to be super, super cool with, wait for it, these stickers. I am thinking of doing a Disney villain spread. Probably right after I do my, uh... My princess theme, because I, I don't know, I think it would go perfectly, you know, after the following week. Go from good princess to the evil villains. But anyways, that that's my ideas that I'm having, so. Let me know if y'all think it's a good idea. If you do think it's a good idea and I should do the villain spread after my princess theme, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Uh then I will definitely do it after my princess theme. I just think it would be cool. But here are the stickers. You have your, your Queen of Hearts, you have Cruella, just a touch of evil, some bats, the evil witch, Ursula, some fire. Um, you got Maleficent, you got vile villains. Oh, I love it. Uh, you have the, the evil queen. Um, now another Queen of Hearts and another Cru Cruella. Oh, sorry, you probably couldn't even see that. Whoops. Okay, you see them? That's Ursula. Okay. And then here's that one. And then you got some bats. Ursula, the, the evil queen again, Queen of Hearts. Cruel is cool. And time to scare up another spell. So I think that'd be really cool. Because I'd want to do it during... Halloween, but I already have so many, so many other spread themes I want to do. I just think I'm gonna have to do some evil stuff or some Halloween stuff in September. Sorry, my camera moved and I have no idea why. There's another Cruella, Vile Villains. Can you really ever have too much evil? I love that. And then here's Maleficent and the Evil Queen. The Skull and Crossbones. Love it. Um, sorry going all over the place so some of them are kind of the same some of them aren't but I think it's cool I love this heart oh, I love it and then Ursula unscrupulous unscrupulous I don't know I've never heard of that word unscrupulous Ursula so anyways that is a uh, that is my ideas, so let me know if you think I should do a villain spread after my princess spread. So let me know on that, alright? And moving on, well, I also have these two, they're also more villain stickers. You can see them, they're kind of like holographic looking. So I got these just to have some extra ones to go with this, and to have like the smaller type stickers. But yeah, so I got that as well. And... And then, what else I got was, I got this pack of uh, stamps. I got this pack of stamps here. And I absolutely love this because it's a baking set and I love, love to bake. Like, I'm the baker and my husband's a cook. That's just how it is, you know. It's like, you know, he wants chocolate cake, I whip it right up. So, either way... Um, I got this set, and I'm kind of already opened it, so. It has 21 clear stamps. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully, that stays. Okay. Anyways. So, okay. I got these clear stamps. Uh, I loved it because of the baking stuff. It says, please join us, your invited recipe, a plus sign, thanks, you're sweet. From the kitchen of, with love, a sweet celebration. So I like this. This is reminds me of a lemonade, and I probably will use that when and if I do my pink lemonade theme. I love these cupcakes. Oh, they're adorable. 
Here's like a, you know, a drink. And here's a mixer with its mixing bowl. Absolutely love. This is like a whole bunch of plus signs together, I guess, to make a border. I don't understand that, but okay. Either way, here's your measuring your measuring spoons, a bigger spoon, a measuring cup, a muffin, a big bow, and a whisk. So I absolutely love this, and I, I had to get this. And, I'm, and also because I think I want to do like a bake with me type spread or mark these when I make some stuff or when I'm baking. I don't know yet. But either way, I don't care. I love it. And this was $9.99, I think. So yeah, that's how it looks. So I love it and I'm excited and I can't wait to use it. Okay, now... Well, okay, before I show you the good, good stuff, I'm going to show you this here. I got this cute candy corn uh, soap, hand soap dispenser. It was actually $6.99, but it was on sale. Um, it had a certain percent off, but when they rang it up, I got it for $4.99. So I thought this was super cute, so I can go ahead and put it in our bathroom or here in our kitchen. Um, probably be the bathroom, because when Halloween hits, I want to do like some crazy decorating. Hopefully, but I absolutely love this. I probably am going to decorate our windows on the outside, but we'll see. But anyways, so I got that, and I absolutely love this. I love candy corn. Um, so let me go ahead and put this off to the side. Okay, now it's time to get to the awesome, amazing stuff. Oh, I love it. And at Joann's, they were having, uh, I think, a 25% off sale on all Wilton brand Halloween stuff. So, here we go. This is a ice and treat mold. Like in here, you can make, you can put in like candy melts and melt them, you can put them in there. Uh, you can do other kinds of things. You can make them into cookies. Um, you can get some like, make some gummy candy and make it gummy, like gummies, or, or like jello perfect with jello i've i've used some peeps ones that i have for easter with jello and my daughter absolutely loves them she loves jello so yeah so it has the eyeball and skull and it has this beaker and this test like little test tube and it's got this one for the little gummy worm or like the little worm so yeah and you can even use these as ice like you can make them into like the like ice cubes, put them in your freezer, but make sure you put them flat, like nothing like under it and don't put it on top of stuff because it's just going to fall, fall because this is actually like silicone, so it's real flimsy, so you have to be careful with that. And even with the jello, be very careful because it's flimsy, flimsy sorry, uh, if you're going to put jello in it, I recommend you put it on the top shelf of your refrigerator clear everything off or at least to where you have room put this on a cooking sheet on a cooking sheet and put it in your refrigerator so that way it cools and it stays put but when you're filling it make sure it's on the cookie sheet and this is on the cookie sheet so it's still so that way when you're moving it to your refrigerator you won't spill it and you won't make any kind of mess and if the mess comes comes out from here off on the sides then it'll just fall into the cookie sheet and it's easy cleanup you know so that's that and that's just a tip for that so I love this and I can't wait to use it and I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for yet I don't know if I'm gonna do like jello or I'm gonna do candy in it I think I'm just gonna do it all and then I got this. This is a cookie candy mold. Here, uh, you fill it with the candy and you stuff the cookie in it and like fill it up. Fill more candy in it so it covers the cookie. But I got this as a pumpkin and a, and a cat. So I am like super excited about this. Oh my goodness. My excitement is like wow. So, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I'm super excited about this mold here. I love making these candy cookies, the cookie candy molds. Uh, 
and they're just so delicious and I absolutely love love this. I think this was like originally $2.99 but it was like 25% off so it probably came out to like a dollar or something. But yes, I absolutely love this. I'm getting super excited for Halloween and I think with the molds that I have that I got, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like a like a filming so you can see how I do it and how I make it. So you guys there may be a video. So stay tuned for that around Halloween time or maybe early mid-September. I'll be doing videos on how to do the cookie and the chocolate and how to do the little intricate designs. So that's that's what's to come. Um if y'all would like to see that go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so I can go ahead and do the, the bake with me or uh, yeah I guess the bake with me I'm gonna call it bake with me video so give it this video a thumbs up if you want to see that um, I also got some more molds these are five molds here um, on here you can do a mummy on a pretzel stick uh, the witch's finger on a pretzel stick. This is a dancing skeleton on a lollipop stick. This is just on candy. Here you can do some like crazy looking eyeballs. You can do a ghost. You can do a witch's face. And you can do a bat. And you can also do this kind of mummy. This witch's finger. This dancing Skeleton, some more eyeballs. Here's a haunted house, a tombstone, it says rest in peace, and like an evil face pumpkin. Sorry, you can't really see that, but yeah. And so, here are the designs here. Here are the mummy pretzels, the different kind of mummies you can do. I think they all, all are different, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't really like dug into it. And then, here are the eyeballs there's the regular eyeballs, and then there's some with the veins. Or that make it look veiny. And this is Halloween Fright Lollipop. Um, these, you can either put them on the lollipop stick or you can just have the design. So here you have the witch, you have the tombstone, you have the house. You have like a uh, vampire, Dracula. Here's another pumpkin, another pumpkin, a bat, a skull, and the ghost. And then here you have the dancing skeleton lollipops. So you have those, and then here you have the witch finger pretzels. So you would do this and put it like on a, those pretzel sticks. So I got that, so I am super excited. If you guys want to see videos on these, I can go ahead and do videos on how I make these. Maybe I'll do like individual videos, like maybe one day I'll do on how I did the mummies. Another video will be witch fingers, another video will be lollipop skeletons. I like eyeballs and then do all these little intricate ones at a different time or just you know do them separately but yeah so if you want to see that and see how I do these Oreo ones these Oreo candy molds or to see what I do with these or what are the different ways on how to do them with candy and jello and cookies I can go ahead and do that only if we get a lot of uh, likes and a lot of thumbs up on this video. I will definitely do that. Okay, so that is everything for my Joann's haul. Like I said, if you want to see uh, how I do these treats in individual videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, even if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Um, and if you like, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And again, thank you all for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, there will be more videos to come. So keep a lookout for those. So And I think that's it. So thank you all for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.